cute. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. Now we're going to learn to look at the body in different quadrants. So we're learning a system for knee rides, or at least for knee on chest, which it really should be, not knee on belly. Knee on belly shouldn't be default. Knee on sternum or solar plex, knee on chest should be a default position. So when you have your opponent, I pass guard or I'm side mount and I go to knee on belly, knee on chest, it really should be. I look at it in quadrants. So we're going to break it up into four quadrants. Four quadrants, you can come forward. Quadrant one, far arm. Far arm. Quadrant two, head, including head, ethyl arm. Head, ethyl arm. Just head or head and some capujimi triangle choke or katakatami arm triangle choke. So quadrant one, ichi. Quadrant two, knee. Quadrant three, ashi, legs. Quadrant four, near arm. So you can break it in. Three and four can change if you want, I don't care. But look at the body and knee, uh, knee ride in four quadrants of what we want to attack first. So we're going to attack quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, or quadrant four. Okay? Okay, so I go to, I'm going to come from side mount to knee ride. And usually I attack quadrant one first and two. Because really a knee ride. is kind of focused this way. I'm open, but I kind of focus my intention and I drive my weight a little bit this way. So really my main eyes and vision is gonna be quadrant one and two, head and arm, far arm and head, okay? So that's where I'm gonna start first is quadrant one, meaning far arm. So I start in head and arm position. I got good head and arm position. I drive the shoulder into the throat, turn the face sideways a little bit, all this. What I'm going to do, I grab the tricep, Poco, you guys, here, and I hike here to elbow to his chest. So I'm in head and arm, I hike to his chest, and I bring my knee right here. And that's enough to tap some people out. If not, I pull the head, and that's enough to tap people out just from position. It's not even a real submission. That's just heavy riding. So by bringing the elbow to the knee like this, hiji to his up, it's very strong because I'm putting it all into his Punisher skull solar plex right here, into the sternum. So, you have to move sometimes too. Camera, you have to move sometimes too. Here, here, I go here and I hike and at the same time I start bringing my knee up to knee on chest. And then I collect the head. And it's on his ribs, it's on his solar plex. He can't do anything. Oh, there's submission one. There's submission two. So submission one, chest compression, submission two, short arm bar. He gave it to me. Okay? If he rolls the arm, boom, we'll switch to Kimura, the wrist lock. If that doesn't work, look how I grabbed it. So there's a wrist lock, submission four. And submission five, Juji Katami, spin Juji Katami. That's not enough. Grab your hands together. Defend, defend. So here. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I don't know, whatever. Many, many submissions. Okay, but look how my entry, my entry to position opens submissions up right away. Because I go to elbow to knee position. Hiji to his eye. Elbow to knee position. So, just nice side mount. And he's okay, I'm okay, whatever. I want to put more pressure on him. Because I try submissions from side mount. Maybe I need defend, defend, something like that. So, I go here and here. Submission one. Submission two. He rolls the arm. Submission three, submission four, submission five, he defend. Now, watch, when he defends armbar, I open up this leg and I hook here. And I try him, I want him to come up 
and I get in here. From there I'll step off, bring around. I don't have long legs, so it's not the prettiest. Here, now I can work this arm different ways. I can pull it this way, lat stretch. I can break his elbow. I can do armbar, I can do armbar, I can do armbar. I can do triangle choke, reverse triangle choke. So many, many, sorry. Uh, one more submission too. So, so in that submission series, I went straight to double wrist lock Kimura. Um, let's say he's really big guy. He's almost my size and he's a fighter with many, many amateur fights and 10 pro fights. So, let's say I'm here and I did, I kind of lost the arm. So I tried this, but I lost the arm. Okay, but I still put a lot of pressure in his chest. He does that, I'm gonna hook. Here, arm weave. Hook, grab, to trap. Step over the head, pull this, Hiji to my chest, elbow to the chest. This is reverse Kamoa position. From here, if I can stay on my feet and tap them, great. If not, maybe I sit to my butt. Maybe I tap him here, okay? Many, many things. Maybe he straightens his arm because he's really strong, I lose it. Boom, back to Drew Armbar, short arm. It depends. But you have to know how to flow. And by heavy riding on someone, you open them up. So, I ideally want this, but that doesn't always happen. So, I'm here, and I try to hike this in, and pull your arm out, as I'm going up, and I lost it. I can still play with his head a little bit, right? But he does this right away to push my knee off, because it's heavy. So I'm gonna come in here, hook, and grab and pull, and also kind of come over his head, and trap. So reverse Kimura grip, here, Arm weave, you can do this if you want, but really this is better because I can push my shoulder forward, biomechanics. Here, I can submit him right there. If you want to do something like this, and be comfortable fighting from your guard, and maybe this comes out, okay, then you want to switch to the plata, okay, I don't care, whatever you want. So, you guys got to know how to knee ride. This is all position one. All position one, meaning far arm. Okay, so now look for how to segment it into different quadrants and have a real knee ride attack system. Thank you very much. Look for number two and look at my defenses to knee and belly videos as well.